All right, hi everyone. Welcome back to another tutorial of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Manshu, and we are continuing our Lightning Web Components Masterclass. So to continue on the Lightning Data Service, we are going to start doing a bit of hands-on and just see how, without even writing any line of Apex code, you can actually access the database, right? So the very first thing that we want to do and we want to leverage the Lightning Data Service for is the Lightning Record Form to basically just load one record okay let's assume that i have the record that i want to load and i just want to see or view it so if you have a specific record that you want to display you can use lightning record form okay i'll just copy this right away you can display it in multiple modes you can either have it on the read only mode or in the view mode okay we'll look at it and you only need three things so whenever you are looking at a record what do you really need which record from what object and what fields do you want to display right so record id object api name and fields cool so let's jump into vs code and let's create a new lightning web component i'll say load a record okay this is my new lightning web component i'll just set up the metadata first of all exposed equal to true targets is equal to lightning app page or home page right so home all right so for now we'll just keep it home page i'll say deploy deployed fine created and now i'll just go back to salesforce and we are doing the routine stuff right just like setting up things so i'll just i should be seeing load a record i'll just bring this guy here there's nothing to display i will say save saved fine let's go back and let's come back to our code okay cool now as usual just so that we get we understand and there is a clear cut background i'll just create a lightning card title i'll deploy so i have this habit of you know deploying continuously like does not create a problem but it's good to you know keep deploying so that your changes are not uh, you know overwritten or uh, you know not, you don't miss out on any deployment so i just have this practice of you know okay made some changes go ahead and deploy cool now what do I need to use if I go to the VS, uh, if I go to my keynote, lightning record form, right? So lightning record form, this one right here. Okay. And if you look at this uh, helpful library, it tells you a lot about, you know, what all you can do and what all is needed. So if you see record ID is the ID of the record to be displayed, object API name, the API name, and then you have fields. This is a string array, you know, the list of fields to be displayed. And then let's say you have mode. It can be read only or, you know, view or edit. So you see this possible values. Okay. Very helpful. So I'll go in here and I'll just create a stub first of all. And now what I want to do is I want to bring in my three things. So first is the record ID. Second is the object API name. The third thing is the fields. Cool. Now, these are the three things I want to and I have to populate for my lightning record form to work, meaning to be able to show some information. All right. So record ID, I'm going to bind it with a variable record ID, object API name. I'm going to bind it with a variable object API name. And then fields, I'm going to bind it with a field uh, variable called fields. So if I have bound them with some variables, so I have to create them in my JS file. Yes. Yes. So I'll just go ahead and create these. Okay. So these two are strings and this is a array right the list of fields so first of all record id so let's quickly pick up a record id from salesforce let's look at let's for example uh, case let's go to cases let's open any random case or let's look at a one which has some more value so like this one is a subject right so i'll just take this record id static for now and i'll paste it here okay the record id is bound what is the object it is case and the fields that i want to display are case number priority what else status sorry for the typo and since these are all fields i have to give them string literals okay this cannot be just like this so these are all this is a list of fields mentioned in a string right so list of string done i'm going to go ahead and say deploy let's go back to html fields object api name and record id cool all of it is mentioned 
let's go to home page and let's now refresh our component or our page let's see so if you see the record form comes from the lightning card and if you notice the information about that particular case is very much easily accessible here the priority is high the status is closed and the case number is this particular value case number is auto generated which is why it is not editable and because we are seeing this pencil icon what i want to do is i want to ensure that my mode is view because i just want to view a record right now or i'll just say read only okay i'll say read only here and i'll say deploy done refresh so you see now you have no capability of modifying it but you can see okay for this case number this is the value or whatever it is and what what other fields can you display anything from that particular object you can display it here so just look at the small set of lines that we have written and that has enabled you to actually just you know look at a record directly all right and I'll, I'll talk about the beauty of it like for example by mistake i say that the object api name is contact here okay so it's a case record but i'm i have mentioned contact okay let's see what happens refresh so it compiles fine because there's no error on your code side but if you see here the component does not load and it is so smart to tell you contact is invalid did you mean case because it is understanding that the record id is from the case object so you can easily rectify your mistake and just deploy with the correction so it's a case all right now that's one mode the other mode was edit right so if i get rid of this mode from here and i say deploy we are starting to see pencil icons meaning you are capable of editing that particular record right with the lightning record form so if i refresh it here now you'll see that pencil icons are available meaning the record is up for editing and as soon as you click you see the standard behavior of the form with a save and cancel button did you see me writing any button logic here no it is coming from the lightning record form so i can say this is medium i'll say save and this is now updated if i were to look at this particular case and i look at it you'll see that the priority has been modified to medium let's open this case and priority is medium so you see the data updates are reflecting on the actual data so it's not like you know just you're handling it on the widget did you have to do anything to write the save logic no anything on the cancel logic no the pencil icon is coming just by a configuration and so much of it is possible by writing just this particular base component code and that's the power of lightning data service makes sense cool what else can you do you can actually instead of having a hard coded record id because you'll never have a hard coded record id here right if you had to drop this component actually on the case or case record so if you had to drop it here i'll say edit page and let's see if loader record is available it is not available for the record page why because yes tell me because we don't have the target defined that it should be in the record page okay so whenever you don't see the component showing on your list here don't panic just come to the meta file and you will get the answers i'll say deploy so inside record page i want to expose this so i have to mention it here i have mentioned it here and now i'll say refresh now i should see the component being listed here load a record perfect i want to just drop this guy here on the top and here I'll just drop it and it is showing me the information of this case number which is fine but the problem is that I have had a static ID what if I open any other case it will still show me the record information of this particular case which is why what Salesforce does is it basically gives you a capability I'll just say assign as org next save it gives you a capability to actually pass a record ID instead so you don't have to put this value so you see this is the component but if i were to go to the case view let's open the case list view one triple zero okay this is one zero two six if i open one zero two six it's still showing me one triple zero i want to see the 
relative information of this case right so there's a capability that allows you to just you know not have hard coded id instead use at the rate api so that you are exposing your variable import the api reference and now your your component is capable of reading the record id from this particular page it knows that it's in a record page it has to refer the record id and it's going to show you the information from that particular record so i'm getting this error from salesforce maybe some migration or downtime from them let's wait for probably a second or two let me just redeploy so it's down for maintenance yeah oops yeah it's back up okay so now if i refresh here so it's still one triple zero right it has not reflected now what i want to do is i want to first of all just verify if i've deployed it correctly yes deployed refresh one more time this is what one triple zero and if i go here i'll just put the mode as read only just trying out things let's go back and refresh yeah it is now read only right so this is now read only and if i were to look at let's say another case which is like for example 1026 so if i look at this case let's see what is it showing here it is showing media menu so now this information is coming relatively all right so it's relative now let's go ahead and click on the edit page button now that you have a api record id tagged here if i click yes this should be fine so it's automatically understanding that if it is sitting on a record page it will refer the record id using this particular record id that we have defined all right and it is it has to be defined as an at the rate api variable cool great so there's some reason the case number is not showing up what is the issue case number priority status fields not sure let me try to get in some more information for example type case origin case reason let me save these guys okay and now if i were to go back and say i want to get these fields also deploy refresh so the type is showing up i might this might be reason let's say deploy okay refresh yeah, it's showing the information but i don't see the reason listed which is weird this could be a cache issue so let me just close it let's go back to the home page on the home page it will not show any information now because we are on a record id concept and there's no record id tagged right so what i will do is let me see if i can so this is the lightning data service cache acting a bit weird which is expected if i go to cases again let's open a third case maybe all open cases let's see all closed cases 1010 yeah this is not correct so it's not correct edit page at the rate api record id there's some issue here right it's not able to identify so when i click here let me redrop the component load a record it's behaving a bit strange yeah it's showing up see now it's showing up correctly but there's some cache, cache issue that's creating a problem on the ui so you see closed low feedback other and the case number so all of it is showing here maybe may some issue with the cache all right great so 
this is how very easily and simply if you have a requirement to you know load a record or just you know view a record that's it you just have to write this 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 line of code and you can actually just put a snippet any and everywhere it could be on the home page app page or a record page depends but you need to know the record id that you want to use cool great yeah see this data is showing up so probably some cache acting up weird sometimes it's a boom sometimes it's not right great that's all we wanted to do as part of loading a record in the next tutorial let's look at if you wanted a custom layout so this layout that you see right here is coming standard i did not do anything right but what if i wanted to position the reason first priority second i wanted to you know have two columns all of that how do you really do that we'll look at it in the next tutorial okay meanwhile what i want you guys to do is add some spacing to this component and try to do this for a contact or an account record instead okay just try to create your own component all right one last thing before we close what i have done is i have integrated my git to github right so if you see these changes are now showing up and i'll take you to my repository github right i have lwc masterclass and this is where inside the default lwc i am dropping in all my components in case you want to refer it okay so what i'll do is i'll just you know commit these changes so that you can you are you get used to you start to get used to you know committing and committing to git as well so if you see these are the changes so i'm just going to say stage stage my js file stage my js file this is the test file i'll say lds load a record snippet all right that's it something meaningful and i'll just say commit once i say commit let me just see yeah that's my branch i'll say push so this change should be pushed to my git yes it is and now my git is clear all right now if i go back to github and i say refresh you will see that salesforce makes sense a new thing has been added and this should be right here yeah load a record and you should be able to see all the html and all the code here all right so i've just provisioned this here for you in case you want to look at you know the code base so you can look at it here and you you can just you know leverage it all right great let's look at how to you know use a custom layout in the next tutorial thank you bye